Hello everyone, welcome to Hyrander S3 tutorial. In this video, I will introduce how to adjust the effect in the timeline. First, let's add a media in the timeline. To add an effect, click on Timeline, Adjustment. There are several effects we can use for the media. You can also add them by clicking on the icons in the menu bar. Let's add our first effect position. The effect layer will be below the timeline layer. Let's click on the effect layer to set an initial point. We want to move the image from beginning to here at 5 seconds. We can set the cursor at 5 seconds and drag the image to the target position. Or you can click on the effect layer, set up a new node, like 10 seconds, and drag the image to the position that you want at 10 seconds. You can also double click on any nodes to set the prices position for it. We can play the timeline to see the position move for the image. We can combine multiple effects by adding them together. So next, we will add a scale to zoom the size of the image. We can also set an initial point. Same as the position, at 5 seconds, we click on the effect layer to set up a, a new node and change the size of the image by using the arrow at the bottom right of the image. or double click on the nodes to set it precisely. We can quickly set the mirror on either X direction or Y direction. Or we can check the keep aspect ratio to keep the ratio of the image. To change the anchor of the image, double click on the target media and change the anchor position or using the quick configuration for the anchor to set it at the middle of the media or at the top left of the media. Let's add uh, the third one, the crop. We can crop the media image from four directions. From the left Right, top, and bottom. Click on the nodes, and you can type in the process ratio or the pixel for your crop. To delete an effect, just click on the icons in the menu bar to delete it. Next. Let's add an opacity. We can set the opacity of the image to make a fade in or fade out effect for that. We can add a rotate Z axis to make it rotate by, by just change the value on mouse, or click on that to type in a process number or use the wheel to change the rotation. The last one I want to introduce is the feather. Click on the effect layer, and double click on the feather to change the ratio of the feather. 
or change it by mouse. You can combine these effects, make your own imagination. That's all for today's tutorial. See you next video.